Hey guys, my name is Rodrigo, and in this video I will talk to you guys about something that I bought on YouTube the other day, this macro extension tube set. It is I bought it for my Canon DSLR camera, my Canon 6D. And I think macro photography, it's really interesting. It allows you to take incredible photos of things you wouldn't normally see with your naked eye, like little details in, cam in, the, in flowers or in insects or whatever you can imagine. You can, there's always going to be little small details in macro lens. They help you uh, show those details. So yeah, here it is. I bought this on eBay for, eBay for around 20 euros, which is relatively cheap. I've been looking to buy an, uh, a dedicated macro lens for my Canon camera, but they're kind of expensive now. Like the minimum is like 300, 400 euros, and I had promised my wife I wouldn't ex wouldn't waste more money, spend more money on lenses this year, so I have to wait till next year to buy a real one. I was looking for other options to to take macro photos. And I found this online. I was reading about it and I decided, yeah, this is exactly what I was looking for. It's a cheap way of taking macro photos with good quality. So yeah, let's open this up. Let's take a look outside. Yeah. It's lightweight for sure. Yeah, this is for Canon. This is also for Nikon. And it comes with three pieces of different sizes. Let's open this up. It comes with a nice pouch. It's, feels good. It's nice and soft. It's good to carry a tube set for protection. Oops. Oops. The tube set itself. Three pieces. 21 millimeter, 13, or 31. And this one is red. To also have the option of buying it in blue, in black, I think in yellow or green. But I, I decided on red because I have other L lenses and I thought that'd be good. Good combination for other L lenses. So we have this here. We also have the instructions, paper, instruction manual. It's always good. This is a good read to know what you can do with the with this. So, better read later on. Put that away. So here it is. Tube set. It comes with the lens cap, top and bottom. Let's remove that now. There you go. And as you can see, it's nothing inside. It's no glass, nothing. There are these commu these little connections, and this allows the camera to talk to the lens it's connected to, so you can use the autofocus. There's there's two types of uh, these extension tubes. There's the ones with these connectors, they're more expensive, and the ones without these connectors, and they're more and they're you know cheaper. But without these, you, you'll need to, will only be able to focus on manual mode. So yeah, let's take them out. There you go. One. This is the 21 millimeter. The second one, the 13 millimeter. And the biggest one, 31 millimeter. And here I'll show my camera. It's my Canon 60, the 24 105 millimeter camera. And I will demonstrate how the loop, these tube, these tubes look on the camera with the lens on. And yeah, other thing you can put them in any order. You can just have one on it or two. We can have all three of them, or you can like make these different types of combinations with these with uh, the tubes. 
according to what you want to do and what you need. So yeah, so let's take this out. And let's try first with all three of them. So here, you can see the little arrow. And here as well, just align. And click, same thing here. Line and click. Then you get the lens. You align the two dots. Twist and click. It's secure. Yeah, and the tube set itself it's pretty light, just a couple of grams. And then you get the camera. And you align the arrow. Little and you there you go. It's now on the camera. Yeah, I admit it looks kind of weird. It's longer, but it's cool. Doesn't matter if it looks weird as long it's as it's you know as it works. That's what I want. And the thing about these uh, extension tubes is that it allows the lens to be farther away from the sensor, which means in turn that you can get this the lens closer to the subject, and that's how. We can get such great photos with the the tube set. So, the farther, the closer it is to the subject, the farther it is from the the, um, the sensor. So yeah, there it is. It's pretty sturdy; doesn't move or anything. So I'll take some photos with each one of these tubes. And so we can see how it looks. I don't know, I'll, I'll pick something random around the house and I'll take some photos and I'll post them up after this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope it's been informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll be happy to respond. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.